and welcome to Art With Me, Katie Cordy. To celebrate the upcoming arrival of summer, I will demonstrate how to create themed word art, no matter what your chosen word may be. I use pencil, sharpie, and crayons, but you can use whatever medium you desire. So the first part to word art is choosing whatever your word is going to be. My word is summer, since we're coming up towards the end of school. And I sketched out my word ahead of time, so you don't have to watch me struggle trying to draw bubble, bubble letters. But your word can be anything that you want. Then what I like to do is I like to create a list of everything that I think of when I think of this word. For instance, for summer, sun, sand, beaches, starfish, crabs, waves, sunglasses, sunscreen, umbrellas, palm trees, hot dogs, fireworks. There are a million different things that you can think of when you think about summer. So I sketched out my word in pencil because now I'm gonna start changing its shape to reflect what it's all about. So for instance, okay, I wrote waves. Well, I'm going to take my S and I'm gonna turn it into a wave. And you don't actually have to do this in Sharpie. I'm doing this in Sharpie because it makes it more obvious of what I'm gonna keep and what's going to go away, okay? So I swirled it around to create a wave. Now I'm gonna swirl it back. So maybe this will end up blue or purple in the end. Let's see, I also have crabs. So I'm gonna draw an oval with some eyeballs. Although I guess crab eyeballs kind of come up, don't they? Miss Cordy, Miss Katie doesn't live by the beach, so. Oh well. All right, then I'm gonna give my crab some little arms. I should have grabbed a reference photo before trying to draw a crab. Oh well. And then I'm gonna draw some upside down U's. I draw a B in each of them. You get them some extra legs. This is my creepy looking crab. He's not my best, but I'm working in Sharpie, so he's got he's what I thought. I'm gonna swirl around my ass. I think I'm gonna leave my ass like this. Although maybe I want to make this end a wave. I don't think so. Oh my god, this one, this one. Then for my U, I think I'm gonna turn one side of it into a palm tree, by extending it out. And then I'm essentially going to draw a three or four pointed, almost like a star. Four lines, I suppose. And then I'm gonna do zigzags inwards. Or outwards. The point is, give yourself some palm fronds. I think I'm gonna throw some coconuts down here. things per object. I'm doing something fairly simple. For my second M, I like these two circle areas. They remind me of sunglasses, which is on my list. So I'm going to make an arch for my sunglasses. Go under. Make very round sunglasses. For making the arch for the nose of my sunglasses. And two rectangles on either side to make the hinges. Circle. 
And then I'm gonna trace my M. Or add anything else that I feel like it might need. There's almost looks like swim goggles. Hmm, well, that still works. Swimming, you definitely do in summer. For my E, ooh, I'm gonna make this into a sun. this up and make it into, well, I like another one. It'll look better hopefully when it's blue. <laughs> and then for my R, I'm going to turn it into an umbrella. This is the stand for my umbrella. I'm going to choose a point at the top. And do an unhappy face. Add in some lines and then connect them with upside down. Well, with little, little rainbows, essentially. And swirl it back around. Summer! And then, of course, I can add anything else that I feel like or that you feel like in your own art. You might make it so you can barely even read the word. And then, in my case, since I traced this in Sharpie, I'm going to now erase the pencil and then color. So here is my example of a piece of word art. 